Hi friends of High Quality Entertainment. I received another parcel in the mail from a viewer. This is from a very special friend. I, I'm not going to mention her name, but I just wanted to thank the person. I have thanked the person, but in this video I want to thank the person. It's one of the nicest gifts I've ever received. Freaking Yes t-shirt for one of my all-time favorite albums, Tales from Topographic Oceans. Whatever topographic means, I don't know. Thank you. Hi again. Now, this artist I hope you check out and come back and leave a comment for is Jane Sibbery. And I was thinking, well, how can, you know, how you, uh, when you talk about a group or an artist, oh, there's a kind of similar to, you know, so I'm kind of, I was thinking this morning, who is she similar to that's really well known or fairly well known? And so I thought of Kate Bush right away. And it's funny, I went to Rate Your Music and I'm looking up uh, Jane Sibbery's albums and everything and all the comments. And one of the first comments I see, right at the very beginning of his comment, he says, the Canadian Kate Bush. So, wow. And also, for a, for a male singer, I would kind of compare her to Peter Gabriel's solo career. So if you like those two artists, there's a chance you will like or maybe even love Jane Sibbery, if you haven't heard her. And to, you know, of course you have to describe what the music's like, and so I've just written down what Rate Your Music said. Art, pop, singer-songwriter, new wave, progressive pop, synth pop, and pop rock. There's five songs. Uh, the very first song is called Mimi on the Beach. It's one of the more, I would say, commercial songs, for at least for her. And I think most people, when, as soon as they hear the song, if they love that song, you're going to love Jane Sibbery's other, other songs. Maybe not right away, but for Mimi on the Beach, you're either going to love it or not, not like it. And if you don't like it, I don't think you're going to like the other songs I've listed either. But, you know, at least listen to it a couple of times. But I think you will like it or love it right away like I, I do. It's so damn catchy. Mimi on the beach, Mimi on the beach, Mimi on the beach. And uh, so these are all on YouTube and the links will be below. One More Color is another very catchy song, which I think you will love. Map of the World Part Two, once again, very catchy. I actually only had four songs and I was going through, because I haven't heard some of these songs in quite a while, I want to get her CDs. They're, the earlier CDs are kind of hard to get or they're pretty expensive. And one of them is Vladimir Vladimir. It, it has special effects in it, it's kind of a longer track, it's not quite as commercial, it's got like Pink Floydish special effects in it. I love it, I hope you do. And the final track is, I think, one of my favorite songs of all time. I mean, I've got quite a few of those, of course, but it's pretty, pretty high up there. But it's, uh, it's going to take more than one listen for you to enjoy, as it did for me. I didn't get it right away. I thought it was really, really weird. It's called The Bird in the Gravel, and the production is superb. It's stellar production, whatever stellar means. And so that's it. Check out Jane Sibbery. She's still recording today. She still sound, sounds great. I've checked out some of her newer material on Spotify. Uh, but I hope you give Jane Sibbery a chance and then come back and leave a comment below. And 
for all of these videos, as long as I get one person to become a fan of the artist I'm talking about, I'll be happy. So I hope you become a fan of Jane Sibbery. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.